during the school day, how much are the schools hiding from parents and how dangerous is the stuff that they're hiding? Well, I think it's incredibly dangerous because uh, there's a lot of it. The puberty blockers that are being promoted by teachers, um, the very idea of changing changing one's sexual orientation being a solution to one's uh, angst or whatever depression or whatever a student might be feeling is is wrong with his or her life, and then of course the you know the grotesque um, move toward transitioning one's body. So it's it's there's an awful lot of that happening in schools, and um, and parents wouldn't be happy about it. And I went to two high schools recently. Um, when they had drag queens reading to younger kids. And it was really quite interesting because they had security outside the school. Um, so I couldn't get in to be to, to, to participate or to watch what was happening. And then I talked to parents in the parking lot and no parent knew anything about the drag queens being at the school. So they're playing a, an interesting little game with parents is they're, they're wanting to appeal to two groups. They're wanting to appeal to the to the, to the sexual predators and, and indoctrinators that exist in our society, including politicians who want to bring all this stuff into school. And they also want to appease parents. So what they do is they, they with parents, is they uh, pretend that a lot of these things aren't happening in schools. And then again, if, if I have a student who's transitioning, for example, um, I'm supposed to not ever talk to parents about that. That's something that, uh, that only people higher up can do.